What's happening guys? I'm Dan, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm breaking down a brand new beer that I've never had, but it's been around a minute guys. It's gonna be from Victory Brewing. This is their Golden Monkey, which is a Belgian style triple ale with added spice clocking in at 9.5% ABV. No small beer by any means. Uh, thank you to Victory Beer. Victory Monkey, they sent me uh, a variety pack and uh, as well as a Juicy Monkey six pack. So I am reviewing it because I feel like it's my due diligence. They've been around a while. I just don't know much about them. I've seen their products out and about. It seems like they're really connected with influencers, uh, the beer community. So I see them quite often. They reached out. I said I would uh, give them some content. So I've done some things on Instagram already to showcase what they've given me. But today, I'm just doing a standard review of their Golden Monkey. So I don't know what this is gonna stack up to. I don't know if it's gonna be as good as some other Belgian style beers, but I'm down for it. Let's check it out, let's see what it's about. So let's see. Best Buy April 26, 26. Seems like it's way out there for Best Buy date. It seems like two years out, it's a little insane. Don't know what's up with that. I've never seen that before, but that's fine. I guess these do age as Belgian styles, I suppose, but I don't see that that often. Let's go to it. Let's see if she's gonna be a big beastie Belgian. So yeah, it looks the part. It's super golden, dark yellow, borderline caramel orange, really. Wow, good looking beer, actually. Quite good, a little bit of haze to her. Um, Moderate to low carbonation stream at the top, off-white eggshell head, yeah, off-white eggshell, white head sitting on top, pretty fluffy and foamy. Soft, delicate, sticky to the glass, very nice. Uh, you guys can see it, that's about exactly what it looks like in this cloudy northern Michigan weather. Let's get an aroma. Almost drank it. Yeah, so it's that Belgian-y funk, the Belgian yeasty uh, cloviness. That thing is very apparent. It's kind of soft and like honey, banana maltiness, kind of screaming off the top pretty well. Almost like a little bit of citrus. Again, more banana, more yeast, more clove, a little bit of funk, but not. it's not like super funky or like super Belgian-y where it's very off-putting. It's just kind of delicate and soft. But it's, you could tell it's a Belgian, there is no doubt. Um, Let's check it out, 9.5% with added spice. I wonder what that is. Let's check it out, cheers. And by the way, thank you, Victory Beer. Ooh, it's pretty smooth. Um, not as spicy as I would have thought with this added spice. Um, banana and caramel malt smoothness to this beer. It's very easy to drink it at 9.5%. It's it's um, pretty awesome off first impressions. It's not super spicy, like I said. The banana thing, super apparent, kind of clovey. Uh, there's this weird like honey citrus to it. It's a little bit chewy. It's pretty cold. It's not that hot on the back end. You can tell it's got a thicker body to it. Upper medium, but it's nine and a half percent. Going down pretty easily. Um, it's got some earthy twang to it, if you will. But again, I still get like a little bit of like, I don't know if it's coriander or something along orange coriander. I'm not sure what's really in here. I think it has a very beautiful, delicate, malty undertone to this beer, which just adds to impressive drinkability. Again, not overly spicy, not overly complex for being kind of an old school Belgian triple. Um, is it like Trappist good? I, I don't know. I, I feel like they're just a little bit different. This one's still up in the rankings for being very good. I feel like I could enjoy this over and over again and not be upset with it. Uh, again, it's not overly complex. It's not like it's super yeasty, funky. It's not like super bubblegummy or anything. Again, I think the banana, the most prominent thing with that smooth, honey, malty body, a little bit of that caramel malt. At least it gives me that impression. Um, but great drinkability on this one. Pilsner, malt, malt Pilsner, hops, tet, tetanang, I don't know what that is. It's good, man, it's super smooth, like, I don't know, it's, it is dry, it says savor notes of orange, so, okay, orange of, notes of orange and spice, well, what kind of spice? I don't get that much spice, just a little bit. 
uh, followed by a dry finish. It surely is a dry finish. It's very drinkable. Um, it's good. Man, I'm going to go with a solid, solid ass four out of five. Um, and I, I'm not a huge like Belgian person, but when I'm in the mood for it, I enjoy it. Um, and I wasn't even really in the mood for it, but it's still very good. So four out of five. Thank you to Victory Beer and Victory Monkey. You guys sent me this. I appreciate it. Until next time. Prost. Cheers. Yamas. Over and out.